so I have a bit of an issue. <laughs> Help. <laughs> no, so um, I'm going to be trying out all this stuff for you today and just letting you know how it is. It is all from Shein, Shein, however you say the website. Anyone's interested in what I bought, I can pop it down below if you want. Okay, so I do have a little bit of everything. I've got some sets, I've got some skirts, I've got pants, I've got boots, and I've got plenty of tops. So I'm just gonna go through everything. Um, to start with, I've got this little cute set. Um, I know you can't really see the bottom of the pants, but it's a little bit cropped at the bottom. It's actually a super stretchy material, so this is really comfortable. Um, I really love it. I think it's so cute for spring or for summer. It's got like, is it dog tooth pattern? I don't know, I really like it. All right, the next one is another little set. It is this really soft, warm, kind of fleecy material. It's a uh, light pink and white, and there's a little tank top that's underneath it. I also got the skirt. It was, it's just a usual tennis skirt. You can barely see it. <laughs> it was modeled on the website with this skirt. However, this skirt was separate. Um, I actually find that this one's quite a good length. It needs an iron because um, I have just gotten these, but it's pretty decent quality, especially this thing. It's actually really warm, and today is quite warm outside, so I am a little bit sweaty. <laughs> All right, so slight issue. Don't mind my dog. Slight issue, that's... So slight issue, that skirt I was just in, I just got stuck in it for like maybe a good 10 minutes. I don't know what happened. It fits fine, but the zip just would not come undone. I somehow managed to like squeeze it over my legs and my bum to get out of it, because it's got a little bit of elastic at the back, but oh, that was horrible. I thought I was going to be stuck in that thing forever. <laughs> no one's here with me to help either. I'm going to have to cut it off. Anyway, <laughs> um, I got this dress. It's like a nice little linen one. It's uh, like a baggy fit, I guess. It's actually really comfortable. I think it's quite cute. It's got these buttons here and a collar so you can kind of adjust what you want. I really like this nice little casual spring kind of dress. Let me just get the wiener. All right, next up I have this shirt dress and it's got these little cutouts on both sides. That's my dog in the background. Please try and ignore him. Um, buttons all the way down and a collar. The sleeves button up and they're kind of like balloony. You can see the little detail there. Um, I think this one's really nice. Again, it's quite good quality. It might be slightly see-through. But I'm not sure. I'll have to look at this footage later. In real life, it's not, but I don't know about it on camera. All right, another dress. So this one is like a very sheer chiffony material. It's got a ruching, real stretchy detail here with a bit of frill on the bottom, puffy sleeves. I bought this one in mine for like work or classier events. Um, have a look at the pattern. They had this one with all different patterns available as well. PSA, I was wearing that backwards. Please don't do that. I really love this one here. It is like a cutout midi dress. Cutouts all the way around. Oh, I think you probably see my bum. <laughs> um, basically, obviously the bad thing about this one, it is completely see-through. I love the color, but you, you're just gonna have to either line this at the bottom or wear something nude underneath. Like I've got a nude pair of underwear on, but yeah, it's completely see-through if you put anything else, or if you stand in the light even, like light coming through, you can just see everything. <laughs> Love the dress though, but wish it wasn't see-through. Okay, so this dress I've just had to style for you really quickly, otherwise it looks like I'm wearing a nighty. but it's just black. <laughs> crazy. All right, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by barking sausage. Um, I've just styled this one for you just because otherwise I look like I'm wearing a nighty. But it is this nice black silk dress and it's got this lace trim at the top and the bottom. I've just put this chain belt with it. I think I got this from Bardo when it used to exist. And down the bottom, which you can't really see, I've got these boots. Ooh, let me try that again. Yeah, hold on, just something's got no balance. These boots, they go, they sit just below the knee. Um, they're like a black 
leather crocodile print obviously fake leather um i actually really love these boots i bought them in another color too which i'll show you in a minute you can see it's at the bottom there how high they come up um but no i really like this outfit and then if it's a little bit cooler you put a blazer on over the top of it and it looks really really nice i'll show you the other boots too all right so i've just popped the nude ones on again you can see them just at the bottom there and they're this really nice color i really do like the nude ones with this look too it just makes breaks it up so it's not all black or too heavy but no i actually like all of these i would just bear in mind with these boots they are not made for hot weather at all the inside is vinyl so they're very sweaty you might need to wear like socks or like a stocking when you're wearing them um but it is a hotter day today so i'm only noticing this now i didn't notice this when i tried them on the other day and it was a lot cooler okay so moving right along i've got these brown vinyl pants again these are super duper warm, so please don't wear them on hot days. You will sweat so much, but these fit really, really nicely and they are very comfortable. And I've got this, oh, that was my nail getting caught on the top. I've got this sheer brown shirt. Don't mind the horrible bra underneath, but it's got this little collar at the top too, which is really cute and the detailing down the sleeves. I think they're nice together as well. So I do have in this sheer top and one more as well. I just also think they're really good for spring. Like they are that kind of material that could make you a bit hot if you're in the sun. But they're really nice and they're real thin. Wear just like a bra underneath them. You could probably put a black one on if you want to make a bit more of a statement. This one has some white button details down the front and it also has a little collar as well. Uh, those buttons you can undo and they're not just for display so you can really wear the top however you want so if you want to undo the bottom and just do one at the top that's really cute as well which i've done to the next top that i'll show you in a minute all right so this one is the last sheer top that i have all right so this one's the last sheer top that i have like i said i've done the same thing where i've buttoned the top and undone the bottom this one does have buttons all the way down so you can always button it up kind of like a little cardigan look which should be nice I keep chopping my head off <laughs> um but it so it does have some really nice pattern detailing it goes all down the arm this a bit looser at the back because i've got that undone i think this would look really nice with a black bra rather than a nude um, and the buttons on here are a bit different you've got the elastic holes and they're sewn on little buttons so it's real like old school cardigan it's cute all right so a little bit of a change i've got this little pink top which has the twist detail in the middle and oh my god it just took me a couple minutes to get it on because i've twisted it twice and i put it on backwards and i got stuck <laughs> not that difficult trust me uh it's just me <laughs> Um, it's this nice thin cotton material. It's very stretchy. Um, I love the colour too. It's like a kind of fairy floss pink. I also have these jeans on. Um, they're just like a white, loose leg ripped jean. Um, come about there. These actually fit me really, really well. Like, that is a nice fit around the waist. It's a bomb. Um, but yeah, I actually really like them. The quality is quite nice too. I don't have any issues with the, this pair of jeans. I did buy another pair, a black pair, which is meant to be kind of similar without the rips, but they are like three sizes too big for me. Like they just look ridiculous and I don't know what to do with them. Um, so if anyone has any tips on how to make them fit or what I should do, let me know. So next up I have this top. I have honestly not seen anything like it before. It's very uh, it's asymmetrical with the different cutouts. Um, I really like it. I think it's super different and something a little bit fun to wear. Um, obviously you'd have to wear kind of a strapless bra with this one if you wanted to wear a bra. I've just taken my strap off and tucked it in for now. Um, but I really like it. So the back looks like that. Um, again, it's kind of like a cotton material, super stretchy, nice and comfortable. Um, but yeah, I think it's nice and different, something different for a change. All right, so I bought this green top. I had Christmas in mind for it because in Australia, especially, um, it's summer during Christmas time and 
in Australia, it can sometimes be up to 40 degrees Celsius that day, which is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it can be crazy warm. Um, usually I wear red, but I saw this and the green is just so nice. And I think it goes really well with my hair as well. Um, it is a wrap tie. Um, so I've just tied it how the model had it in the photo. Um, but you can tie this so many different ways. So you don't have to twist it at the front. You can just wrap it around and tie it at the back. You can probably do a million other things as well, but I'm really basic and I don't really know how to do much else with the tie top, but it's really, really nice. I love the poofy sleeves. It's actually pretty good quality too. Um, I haven't had any issues with this one. I think this is one of the fav my favorite things that I've bought out of all the things I'm trying on today as well. So if you just have a look there, we've just twisted it out the front and you can see the ruffles. Again, it probably needs a little bit of an iron, but so cute. Alrighty, so two new items here. I did buy a pair of just the normal black stretchy yoga pants with the flare bottoms. I do have a pair from, I think, Factory, but I wanted them to be longer, like they're too short. So if I, I have to wear like a platform shoe, but then it looks weird because they're not touching the ground. I don't know, it's just the look that I wanted to go for. These ones are a bit longer, but still, I wish they were longer again. Um, but anyway, the fit of them is really, really nice. Uh, they're super stretchy, very comfortable. There's nothing wrong with them. I just wish they were a bit longer. And I'm not even that tall. Um, uh, I don't know what it is in feet, but I'm about 164 centimetres tall. So I'm not, I'm not that tall, I'm just an average height. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll still wear them, of course. Um, we've also got this little denim top. Absolutely love this. This is so adorable and I cannot wait to wear it. I've just cuffed the sleeves on the sides. Um, it's got this rip detailing here and buttons down the front. I've just done up one of the buttons. Um, you can also wear this open with just a little cute top underneath. I think that'd look really nice too. Um, but I've just got buttons at the moment. So that's just a close up of the shirt there. I absolutely love this. It is such a thick denim too. Like it is good quality. I love the rips at the front. It just gives it a little bit more in the big pockets. It fits so lovely too. Um, yeah. All right, so we're almost at the end now. Um, I've just got these little ribbed singlet tops. I just needed some basics because I don't really have any. Um, I got a white one. I also have one in black, a green and a grey. I'm not going to put all of those on because they're basically exactly the same as this, but I can show you the colours. So that's the black one. That's the grey there. And that's the green. Um, yeah, no, these fit really well. Nice and stretchy too. They came in a four pack, which was really nice. They had different colours you could get. I think you could just get a neutral pack, which was mainly brown. Um, and then they had some other colours where you could get pinks and yellows and things, but I just wanted some basic ones. Um, I also got another pair of these yoga flare pants. These ones have the little ruche here and this tie, which I really love. Like, I love how they look. I am just so disappointed at how short these are. Like, I don't know what to do with them because I love them, but like, they're here, they sit. Oh, I don't know. Like, do you have any tips for what I could do? They look stupid as short, so I don't want to cut them. Or just like how to style them because they're a bit short. They sit, they don't sit anywhere near the floor and that's where I wanted them to sit. But again, they're really comfortable. They're probably not as thick a quality as the pair I had on just before. Um, but apart from that, like, they're really nice. I just need help. So I don't know if you can see, um, but obviously there's the tie there. There's like that little ruching there. So you, I've pulled it completely tight um, to kind of create that little V shape, um, but you don't have to, and then it will just sit flat. All right, so I have just popped on that black singlet that I had on in white just a second ago, um, just to show you this skirt. So I got this one. It's a very thick denim, I can tell you that right now. I think it's adorable. Like, it's tight here. It's got the flare that goes all the way around. I think my only concern is that it might be a little short, but then I'm not used to wearing flared skirts. This is very 90s. 
and I'm going to have to really work on how to style it. But I think maybe with like a, if I have something like this on and put like an oversized shirt on with it, um, like a short sleeve one, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to really think about it, but I think it's adorable. I think this also needs an iron because it's just a bit funky, but I think it's really cute. Fits really, really well. Again, stretchy denim too, so nothing too tight. show you here we've got the two buttons there and then there's a zip and you can see all the pleats which is nice and finally as it is spooky season how could i not get a pair of halloween pajamas these are so cute with all the little ghosts they honestly had oh, countless designs that you could get i was tossing up between quite a few but i just love them they're so cute um really comfortable stretchy material um i've got a little bow on the shorts at the front there they're just a nice length and i like the really little scallop detailing on the bottom there too there you go you can have a look at all the ghosties they're all pretty cute i really like them and then the little shorts All right, so that about sums up everything that I bought today that I wanted to show you. There are two items that I bought that either just don't fit me or aren't what I thought they were going to be. So I'll just show you them now. I'm not going to try them on because, again, they don't fit well. They don't sit right. So there's no point. So I think the first... Oh, I'll pop that one there. The first that I was talking about earlier is this black pair of jeans. They look really lovely and that's all I wanted was a, a, you know, a bit of a baggy leg pair of jeans to style because I only have skinny black jeans. I don't have baggy style. Um, and I've had no issue with jeans from Shein before. I've bought, I think, two or three pairs now and they've all fit me really, really well. I bought these in the same size. I bought them in a small um, and they're just huge. They're, they're humongous around my waist. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Like all that excess fabric there so I don't know what to do with these so if anybody has any kind of recommendations I don't really I don't have anybody I can give them to either um people I know that might fit them it might not be their style so um and then a lot of people I know are a similar size to myself so they'll just be a bit too big um I don't know what to do with them I don't really want to chuck them away or um yeah just donate them at the moment if I can do something with them but it's the waste that's the issue so if anyone has any recommendations please let me know and the other item that just wasn't what I thought it was going to be is this top here so this orange one yeah it looks really nice I think I probably could have gotten a size bigger um it is a bit tight in the arms and the armpits I don't have big arms but I always seem to have this problem when I get long sleeve things I don't know if my arms are just a bit bigger or if they expect people to have super duper skinny arms I don't know <laughs> um, but it's quite tight on my arms there it's a funny material too um, but it's meant to tie here um, and it's you know got the big open booby area at the front um, the only thing is it's so like it covers like just your boobs barely so I wouldn't know what to wear with it um, it reminds me of when I used to go to clubs when I was 18. <laughs> it's something I'd wear then, probably not now. So it's not really what I expected. It looked a lot better on the model. It covered a bit more, um, which would have been more appropriate for what I was probably gonna go for with it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it covers barely anything. And it would sit literally basically where your bra would sit. So I'm not really sure how I'd style it. I potentially could keep it for festival or something like that. But at the moment, because um, you know, everything that's going on, there are no festivals. So not really sure what to do with her. Might even cut the sleeve shorter so I don't have that issue. But oh well, we'll see. That's everything from me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed or you have some tips for me. That would be great. Um, if you want to see any more kind of like styling videos, I'm happy to style these items or other items in my closet um, and share all that with you guys. But yeah, apart from that, that's everything. So please like, leave a comment, just have a chat. That'd be great. Bye.